Now, there is another way which needs to be discussed in terms of adjusting your exposure. If I just switch back into full auto, okay, we can see I'm in automatic. Now, if I press this button on the back of the camera, which is AE plus or minus auto exposure plus or minus, you can see we get a control which is highlighted in black, which is plus or minus. And if I use this stick, I can actually overexpose by up to six increments or underexpose by up to six increments. Now what this means is that the camera is shooting an automatic, but it's giving you some control over your exposure. So I call that semi-automatic. It's a real easy way to quickly adjust your exposure without having to adjust your shutter and having to worry about your gain and having to adjust the iris and having to flick the ND filter in or out. You can just quickly get what can be quite subtle control. Of course, all the other parameters are crucial. You need to know them, you need to understand them to really make the camera work for you. But that's yet another control which gives you functionality which you really need to be able to access, particularly in a quick situation. Because if you're running around shooting news or, you know, covering an event where things are happening very quickly, you need to be able to quickly adjust exposure without having to stop for, a, you know, 30 seconds or a minute to actually get your bearings and work out what you're doing. So don't forget that one. That's a very good function. AE plus or minus, auto exposure plus or minus. You simply press the button in, that makes it active, and then move the stick at the back to increase or decrease exposure. Mm -hmm.